Hello everyone and welcome back to House Church Bible Study Time. Well, everyone and happy new year! The year has begun and it's already 2024. So I can't believe the last year, 2023, has gone. 2024 is here. Time goes by really, really fast. And you guys, now you go back to school, right? Hopefully, hopefully, you guys are enjoying your new school time after the winter break and during this cold weather. I hope and pray that every single one of you, God will hold you tight and strengthen you and give you all the wisdom and encouragement and comfort so that you can go through your school life and your daily life with God's blessing and with God's strength. Amen? Amen. Alright, so uh, this year we've been talking about the story of Daniel, right? Daniel. And if you joined our VVS last year, 2023, last year, I'm pretty sure you remember the Daniel story, right? So Daniel in the Bible, he is so famous of his faith and he followed, he feared, and he loved God. So what is so special about Daniel? I mean, we've been talking about this and we'll continue to talk about this uh, for the next couple of weeks. But today, we just want to point out the first message that we need to learn from the life of Daniel. So Daniel, he was living in the southern kingdom of Judah, right? Southern kingdom of Judah. But they continued to sin against God and didn't repent. Even though God raised up so many prophets saying, repent, come back to God. But they just ignored the messages from so many prophets. And in the end, there was God's judgment. And God used this uh, strong nation called Babylon to come attack Judah, the southern kingdom of Judah, right? That's really, really sad story. Now they lost their country, their home, their families. But what's interesting is the King Nebuchadnezzar and the strong nation Babylon came and took the people three different times three different times. It wasn't like they came and killed everyone and took many people at once. No, they did it three times. And when they first took those people captive, they looked around and they figured out there are so many royal family who is smart, good looking, quick to learn, and has understanding. So they took them back to their nation, Babylon. Why? Because they wanted to train them. They wanted to train them and feed them so that they can go back to their country? No. So that they can serve the king and the nation, the strong nation Babylon. And Daniel and his three friends were uh, one of those. So Daniel's story begins from this background. And now Daniel and his three friends, they were taken captive, right? And they were living in this new uh, nation Babylon, like a foreign country. They lost their country, they lost their uh, family, they lost their friends. All of a sudden, they're by themselves. And they were forced to, they were forced to follow the new culture. They were forced to learn new language and they were forced to follow their guidelines, to be trained. And they changed their names, right? They changed their names and they forced them to eat certain food. But for Daniel and his three friends, eating those food and drinking these wines, it was something against God. So Daniel stood up with his friends and said, uh, please, please test us so that we can try, we can have vegetables and waters for 10 days and then see how it look. Please test us. We don't want to defile, we don't want to go against uh, God's law. So please test this. That was Daniel's request to the high official. Do you think Daniel's request was taken? Well, let's watch the Bible story video and let's come back. When Jehoiakim was king of Judah, Babylon's king, Nebuchadnezzar went with his army to Judah. Because God's people had sinned against him, God allowed King Nebuchadnezzar to take over the city of Jerusalem. King Nebuchadnezzar's leaders gathered a group of young men from among the Israelites and brought them to Babylon. The king wanted people who were healthy 
handsome, and good learners to serve in his palace. <laughs> Every day, King Nebuchadnezzar gave the young men special meals. They ate the same food and drank the same drinks that the king ate and drank. They would be trained for three years. Then, they would be ready to serve the king. Four of the young men from Judah were different from the others in the group. They worshiped the Lord, the one true God. Their names were Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. The man in charge of the group gave them new Babylonian names. Daniel's new name was Belteshazzar, Hananiah's new name was Shadrach, Mishael's new name was Meshach, and Azariah's new name was Abednego. Even though Daniel and his new friends weren't in Judah anymore, Daniel wanted to be faithful to God. God's laws told Daniel what he could and could not eat. Daniel was not allowed to eat some of the food that the king gave the young men. Daniel asked the man in charge for permission to eat other foods. Daniel said, try this for 10 days. Let us eat only vegetables and drink only water. Then see if we are healthier than the other young men. The guard agreed. At the end of 10 days, Daniel and his friends looked healthier than the young men who had eaten the king's food. After that, the guard allowed Daniel and his friends to keep drinking water and eating vegetables. God was happy that Daniel obeyed him. God blessed Daniel and his friends. He made them wise and smart. They learned lots of new things. God gave Daniel the ability to understand visions and dreams. When their training was over, Daniel and his friends stood before the king. The king saw that they were smarter and stronger than all the other young men. They were even smarter than the wise men who worked for the king. Daniel served the king for many years. All right, so that was the story. Very interesting, right? So the first thing that they did was they changed the names. Daniel and his friends, now they have the Babylonian names, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And Daniel's name changed to Balthasar, right? So they were forced to change their names. And Daniel and his friends, they were okay with that. They were okay with learning their culture. They were okay with learning their new language and their studies. But they were not okay when it comes to the food. Why is that? Because is there is it because they the food was really bad? No, the food was what the king had. So it was a royal food. It was really, really nice and great food. But it wasn't about whether the food was good or not, but it was about their faith. And imagine yourself when everyone's saying yes. Do you think it's easy to say no? Following your belief and following your faith, holding on to God? No, it's never, ever, it's never easy. But that's what Daniel did. Is that because Daniel was brave, so brave and courageous that he did it? Well, when we read the Bible, this is what we see. Daniel chapter 1, verse 8. But Daniel resolved not to defile himself. Defile means uh, sin against God. With the royal food and wine. And he asked the chief official for permission not to defile himself this way. Now God had caused the official to show favor and compassion to Daniel. This is the interesting part. Who gave the heart of favor? Is that because Daniel was so good at speaking and persuaded the high official? No, the Bible is very clear. It says God caused the high official to have this heart, this favor and compassion for Daniel. So we need to remember this. It wasn't Daniel. Of course, Daniel holding on to God faithfully with trust, but God was at the center of it all. God was the one who caused the high official to have this compassion and favor for Daniel and his friends. And then it's very interesting when we read, we continue to read verse 17. To these four young men, God gave knowledge and understanding of all kinds of literature and learning, and Daniel could understand visions and dreams of all kinds. Amen. So again, 
was it like Daniel and his friends, they were so smart that they had this much understanding and knowledge? No, the Bible is pointing out and makes it very clear that God gave knowledge. Who gave the knowledge? God gave knowledge and understanding of all kinds to Daniel. So Daniel could understand dreams and visions. So it was gift of God. So do you think Daniel was confident because he trusted himself and he knew that he was so smart? No. Did Daniel know that when he eats vegetables, he'll be more, you know, he'll be healthier than others? No. Is that because they had some special vegetables like super organic food? No. Because of God. Because Daniel trusted God. Everything was possible and God gave them, God gave Daniel knowledge, understanding, and God changed the heart of the high official to have favor and compassionate heart for Daniel. So Daniel was confident, not because of himself, but because of God. This is the message that I want you to remember. We should be confident, not because of we are good at this and good at that, not because we think that we are smart, not because I can get A's in my you know, school, math and reading. No, we should be confident, not because of ourselves, but because of God alone. So everyone, as we begin this new year, I really hope and pray that we will continue to hold on to God and become more confident and have this much confidence, more and more confidence in our heart. Not because of ourselves, but because of God. But because we experience God more and more than ever before. Like last year, we experienced God this much. But this year, I know that I will experience God this much or so much more by holding on to God, praying to God, by reading the Word of God, experiencing the power of the Word of God. I will have more and much more confidence in me because of God alone. So boys and girls, is there any worries that you have? Any burdens you have? Any frustrations? Let's put them all down. Let's lay them down before God and pray to God, God, I want to have faith like Daniel. I want to have confidence like Daniel. Not because of myself, not because it's, it comes out of my heart, but because it is from you. I want to have this true and faithful confidence from you Please walk me through this year. Please be with me, stand by me, walk with me as we begin, as I begin this new year 2024. So that by the end of this year, I can praise you and pray to you and give the testimony that God, you are so faithful. You have been with me all the time and I had this confidence in me because of you alone. All right, so today in your house church, Share one another, whether so, is, if there's something that you're afraid of, if you feel like I lack on this, I'm not really good at this and good at that, uh, share one another and pray and bless one another saying, that's okay. God will be with you. God will strengthen you. And we should be confident, not because of things that we have, not because of things that we can do, but because of God alone. Bless one another. Pray for one another. All right, that's it for today. And have a great time in your house, church. And I'll see you next week. So long.